The city stinks. It all started four hours and 13 minutes ago. He stomped into my office with scuffed shoes and a scowl that just wouldn't quit. <laughs> Listen the fuck up! We have some talking to do, he said. As he ranted, the heady scent of cherries hit me and I could only stare as he spewed the most delicious vitriol my sensitive whiffer had ever experienced. There was more to him than meets the nose. His posture screamed, stay back, but his sweet aroma betrayed him as a hopeless romantic. Apparently, his beloved Thresh Prince records had gone missing. Normally, I wouldn't take on such a ridiculous case, but I was feeling generous. So I decided to give him a shot. Good heads. <laughs> oh my god, you're certifiably insane, aren't you? So there I stood at the rendezvous point, eager to smell his glorious rage one more time. It was more than eagerness. It was an addiction. Something had been stabbed deep into my blood pusher and I wasn't leaving anytime soon. And as soon as the analogy formed in my mind, <laughs> it turned literal. Thus concludes my saddest fuck tale, with me lying on the cold hard ground with nothing but the rain and this busted street lamp for company. Maybe this city doesn't stink after all. Cherry is a real nice smell. <laughs>